pass it along and make sure everyone gets a piece. Okay, but last time I didn't receive a piece, and I was told that Just I Just pass. Have... Okay. If, but this, this, if, if there, there, I, I can see the, the cake. There's lots of cake. The ratio of people to cake is too many. If, if I if I'm waiting in line for something and everyone else is hogging it, I need to be selfish so I can survive. When you know who we are, cruise to your block in the drop top, belly is off. We thug and rolling on the beat, off up in the club, wild and like what? Yeah, those even are expensive. I know. So what are we gonna do now? I can't believe we don't have enough money. You wanna just like go somewhere else? Or I don't know. Maybe we'll find it cheaper somewhere else? Cheaper TV. Um, how about um we forget about the idea of getting a TV? I don't think we need one. Okay. Yeah. What's up with my car? You're an idiot, Savanta. You left your headlights on. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Your batteries are probably dead right now. Oh, no. So what do we do now? I think we gotta ask someone to yeah, help. Let's, yeah, let's, let's go ask jump for or something. I don't know how that. Yeah. Let's go ask for help. Oh, okay. sh stupid. <laughs> Tell me what happened last night. All right? Um, all right. Um, I, I didn't know he was gonna do it. I mean, we were we were riding in the car, and he just got out with the gun, and he robbed the the store, and I was just sitting there, and he did it. I didn't do anything. I was just there. All right. Th thank you. Thank you very much, son. I know you robbed that convenience store last night. Says who? Says the cops who caught you there? Man, they don't got nothing on me. Your friend over there says something different. Yeah? Yeah, he does. I don't think you lied to me, Piggy. Don't be calling me Piggy, son! You got a couple choices now. You can either tell me what happened, and I'll let you off easy. One year, max, that's it. Or you say nothing. And you and your friend are screwed. Life! Yo, man, just chill. It's all good. I'll tell you what you need to know. I saw my boy KG. I didn't do anything. He was a mastermind. Back up. As a result of these two thugs looking out for their own hides, they both got thrown in the slammer for 22 years. If neither of them had, if neither of them had said nothing, they would have both gone scot-free. We had nothing on these kids. 
but because they told, they're done. In economics, we talk about a concept called game theory, or what you saw illustrated in Prisoner's Dilemma. Uh, our belief is that given the opportunity, uh, any firm, any individual is going to act in their own best self-interest. Uh, we see that happening when uh, firms attempt to cooperate and then one of them sees that by either raising or lowering their prices they can make more money and so they choose to do that and betray their partners. There's a reward for betrayal and the reality is that if there's a reward for betrayal what's going to happen is that individuals will act in their own best self-interest. You saw that illustrated with the prisoner's dilemma. Uh, a good example to illustrate this would be a uh, class that was offered a test and the curving of the test. Uh, what they would think about is, hey, if we all score low, we'll all do good. But the problem is, there's a reward for betrayal. And so they could all agree together, yeah, we're all going to score low. But then individually, what would happen is they would realize that if they studied and did better, that they get a really good grade. And so there's a reward for betrayal, and what would happen is you would see that various students would be studying harder, betraying their partners, and winding up with the reward, the better grade. And so the assumption then is that everybody will act in their own selfish and greedy. You know what, you guys? I'm thirsty. I'm going to go get a drink. Give me like a Coke or something. Yeah, give me a Sprite, too. I'll meet you guys at Jewel. OK. Oh, excuse me, sir. Do you know if there's Taco Bell around here? Um, you know what? I don't think there is. Do you have some change for taco? No, I don't. Sorry. This is the life for me. Maybe it's on the thug. Welcome home, Arnold! Thanks, Sam. Hi, Arnold. Hi, Dad. Look what I got for you, Sam. A clothes brush. Gee, thanks, Arnold. Yeah, I hated seeing you picking the lint off my sweaters with your fingers. <laughs> what does this painting mean? Well, this was one of Pablo Picasso's first paintings. Don't worry about it, he sucked. But if it was like the Chicago Art Institute? What does this painting mean? This painting is entitled Solitude by Salvador Dali. It was painted in 1932. Notice the man on the left. He has his back turned away from everything. He wants to be alone. In 1932, Salvador Dali had met his soon-to-be wife, Gala. He feared that her love would interfere with his isolation needed to conjure up his creative ideas. I see. At the Chicago Art Institute, there's always an expert to help. Hey, you guys. Hey, Carmen. Hey. Where's our drinks? Look at this. Ask for a Coke. So what do you guys think we should do now? Oh, where's, where's my story? Where's our drinks? Uh, you know we're thirsty, too. Yeah, you guys, but we have to do something about it. No one's helping us with this car battery. So, um, what, what do you think? Let's, let's ask people for change or, like, use of their cell phone in order to make a call. Somebody, we can call someone at home. Like, help.